broaden out, you start to say, okay, well, I've created this show. What's next? Or what else? What else can I do in this show? What else can I do to not only just expand my brand, but maybe even generate a couple of dollars here or there to uh, make it, you know, to reap the benefits of my. Um, well, you know, you said, what else can I do? Um, I believe, and from the beginning, I've always believed this, that everything is connected. Um, so on the show, we've had single releases. We've okay. had album releases. We nice. had a book signing. Yeah. We had a fashion show. Yeah. We had Pure Justice come out and do basically a little five minute. If you have a record, you have been charged with something. We're going to have a free clinic with legal aid. We can possibly tell you if you can get your record expunged. Mm -hmm. Come on out. X date, X place. Anybody, anybody, you know, family, friends, relatives, we want everybody there so that we can try to get as many people, um, you know, helped with their records or criminal records as possible. So we've done that. We've done a coat drive. We've done a blanket drive. We did a reach outreach to the homeless. We did what else? Toy drive. Um, I'm leaving some stuff out. You know, we did a bunch of stuff Yeah. through music comedy and poetry yeah you know you have a platform it's a platform that's all it is it's a platform so um i see people doing all kinds of different things in the community and i want them to come i want them to tell people what they're doing yeah and you know i can help you i had a realtor come and talk to the audience you know about um home ownership and you know home ownership and all that and so again, there is life and life has many aspects. And mm -hmm. so we can do edutainment. Oh yeah. 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 You know, we can yeah. have a little five minute edutainment in there along with our poetry, comedy, and music. Um and so that's definitely been something that I've wanted to do. And last year, um, when Nipsey Hustle was killed. Mm. That was a really, really, really hard time for me because my son was shot, mm. you know, just the the year before that. No, it was two years before that. And I could only imagine what his mother and his family was going through because Nipsey Hussle and my son could be brothers, just their facial you know, mm. everything I, when I saw those pictures, I was like, and I had never really looked at him that way, but seeing, you know what I'm saying? Him in that situation, it just brought back all of those days and, um, you know, in the emergency room and in the hospital room and all the days of recovery when they said my son wouldn't walk again, mm. he might have a colostomy bag and all he's doing, I mean, God blessed us so much. He doesn't have anything, any yeah. of those problems. Yeah. But um, it bothered me also that people were coming out and saying all these wonderful things about him after he's dead. Yeah. And so um, I just couldn't. I turned off the social media. I turned off the TV. I didn't want to hear any more about it. And then it kept bothering me. It kept bothering me. And I said, you know what? We have a lot of black men that do so many amazing things and nobody says a thing. Mm. And I said, well, okay, I have a platform. I'm going to say something. So I put out a call on 